A lot has happened in the past few months and I know I've been MIA on YouTube, but I'm finally back. And if you guys are completely unaware, Auntie and I recently launched a podcast. This is where we just go and vent and have our personal therapy sessions every week. So if you guys are interested in finding out the random shit we talk about, then check out the Brown Brats podcast. Yes, that is our actual name. Now let's go back to some regular programming with some Botox fillers, facials and treatments as well as a little bit of shopping that I did back last year in 2023. I cannot believe it's 2024 and I'm getting old but at least I have Biolite like to keep me young. I woke up today and I realised that my skin is actually looking horrendous. I've been wearing makeup every day for the past like 10 days. I haven't had a clean diet to be honest. I've been eating a lot of junk. So I decided to put myself in for a facial as well as I'm just kind of not bored of my face. I just feel like it's looking a bit flat. I kind of want to top up maybe the eyebrow lift, maybe get cheek fillers. I don't know. But we have an amazing new doctor at Biolite who is one of London's top doctors. I want to see what she says about my face. I'm not necessarily getting anything done, but I just want to see what she says might look good so i want to make small tweaks small adjustments and bear in mind these are these are very much temporary adjustments they're not like permanent because obviously fillers dissolve over time so it's not that deep for anyone says so what is this plastic shit everyone keeps going on you're, can you relax it's just filler it's literally hyaluronic acid literally dissolves and I'm pretty certain there are faker people out there than me. I'm not comparing myself. I've just had a quick facial and now I'm with the lovely Dr. Sophie. Hi. At Biolite. She's here for how long a week? Uh, a long weekend. A long weekend. Mm -hmm. And we've decided to do a tiny bit of cheek filler. I've never done cheek filler before, so this will be very exciting. And I don't really need to touch my brow area, right? So we're just going to... Yeah, we're going to support kind of from the, the mid face, from mm -hmm. the cheek, which helps what's above and what's below. Yeah, because I just felt like I was looking a bit flat. I wanted a little bit of volume, but not too much. So yeah, this will be exciting. I don't need Emma, right? N unless you want no, to. No, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> You're a pro. <laughs> Is this the cannula? Yeah. I just think as much as it feels a bit weird, mm -hmm. It's less traumatic. I wouldn't feel anything. Good. That's the whole idea. <laughs> well, before we take a photo, I'll make sure you're not bleeding at all anymore. <laughs> but fine. You can really see the lift on the brow. Yeah. I haven't touched your anterior cheek, but yeah, it's really lifted you. So we've only done half. I've done half a mil. Literally wow. just supported through here. Yeah, and it already looks like there's so much more like balance yeah. and like dimension because <laughs> look at how flat the side is. <laughs> but strangely, it doesn't make you look... This is why I didn't open the second because I was debating whether we did a little bit through here, but mm -hmm. I actually think by lifting yeah. it here, it's just done what Perfect. we wanted it yeah, to. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. There's and like... you've got a petite face, so yeah. you don't need a lot. Yeah. Thank you so much. My pleasure. That was I literally five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I waited just for you because Elise was like, no, you have to wait for Dr. Oh, Sophie. Thank you. Thank you. And like, I've always said this, guys, if you're going to go to a doctor for one specific thing, like it's for your lips, stick to the same doctor, otherwise dissolve and then start all over again, right? Yeah. Otherwise, there'll be an issue. <laughs> we got some filler. We did a little bit of cheek filler. Wow. Okay, I'm really, really happy with the results. And I feel like no one's gonna like really notice, which is exactly what I wanted. I don't want anyone to be like, hey, what did you do to your face? It's not that obvious, it's very subtle. Obviously right now I'm a little bit swollen, just a tiny bit, but like, I kind of hope it stays like this. I've also been considering getting a lip blush done instead of getting lip filler again, I think to enhance like the lip shape, I want to do blush because I don't want it to be any bigger. So I just want to do a, maybe like an outline. No, actually that'd be weird. It's giving like auntie. Um, but yeah, I'm very happy with, I think the filler really made a difference because I previously got filler here and I didn't like it, it just made my face look oval and like I don't want an oval face I want like an angular kind of sculpted face and I feel like I've got exactly what I wanted with only 0.5 ml which is fantastic didn't need much 
very happy with the results and I also got my little Netta Porter package which I'm very excited about I got a bunch of stuff for 50% off which is amazing yeah let me know if you've actually noticed a difference in my Instagram before you see this video did you notice a difference in the past two weeks let's be realistic two weeks three weeks in my face I don't I don't want you guys to be like yeah we did actually just because you've seen me now get something done like stop being pathetic like don't do that like that's really childish stop it also someone um commented that my accent's all over the gaff and i was like really offended by that because i went to a british school my entire life whilst i was in london and whilst i was in dubai and i was like oh my god please tell me i'm not developing a dubai accent because that would be traumatizing for me i actually remember i had friends from london who moved to dubai like a few years prior to i did and when i met them they went to like an international school their accents were completely destroyed i was like babe you lived in london for at least 10 years where did this accent come from so i'm actively trying to enunciate and pronounce my t's and speak the way i should be speaking and the way i used to previously speak when i was in school it's just a bit difficult when you don't talk to people all day even though i i, I like hate talking to people but it depends on who i'm with i'm one of those people that kind of adopts other people's accents when i'm with them like when i'm sitting with my friend from essex well actually she's born in manchester but she was also raised in essex and she has the most essex accent and sometimes i'm like yeah, and then i just catch myself slipping and i'm like oh my god oh my god has to stop even my mother was like every time you hang out with a new friend your accent changes and i'm like you know what you're actually the last person to talk because your accent is actually all over the gaff babe you don't know what that means it means it's all over the place it really is all over the place it's a bit it's a dubai thing for your accent to change because you're communicating with people that don't speak english sometimes like delivery drivers and you're just like and you kind of have to, you know, change up for them. And if you don't do that, it's kind of cringe to not do that. Like, you have to be empath empathetic. I need to go home. I'm exhausted. My eyebrows are stressing me out. Should I go get my eyebrows done? I'm going to go to the place I previously went to because they did a really good job threading them. Okay, update. It's been exactly a week since I did my lip blush. And I'm not too sure if I actually see a difference, to be honest. I mean... I mean, they look a little bit pinker, they're a little, little bit more defined, but I still find myself reaching for my lip pencil. Although I'm wearing makeup right now, obviously, um, yes, excuse the nail. It's always this nail. It's always this nail. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Do we see a difference? I'm not too sure. Would I recommend, I said this exact, I said the exact same thing last time, I think. Yes, if you have pale lips, definitely do it. it. It did kind of give me more definition. It's also a great way to just avoid getting lip fillers. I feel like this is a great alternative. I mean, it isn't an alternative because you're not getting plumper lips, but you're definitely getting more of like a definition when it comes to the shape. Um, but overall, would I pay £600 again to do this? To endure the pain? If the outcome isn't exactly what I wanted. I don't think so. But I said this the first time, I was like, I don't think I'd do this again. And yet here I am two years later doing the exact same thing again. I'm not mad at it. My lips are super dry right now. They've been peeling for the past week and I've not like touched them. I've just been putting Vaseline. I've not been going, um, yeah. I probably would do this again, I'm not gonna lie. If my lips went really pale maybe in like two years i'll do it again i don't think i'm gonna pay 600 pounds and do a top up because that would be a ridiculous joke and for like three days i had like super bright lips and i just looked absurd because i wasn't able to put makeup on um but yeah i mean not awful but not great either minimal um maybe i should have gone for a darker color maybe that's my fault but actually to be honest i really like the color it's not really what i wanted but here we are. There was a massive storm. A storm that was so loud, it woke me up. Like the thunder was rumbling. So loud, I thought there was an earthquake. I am going to Starbucks. JK, <laughs> I had a half poor taste in coffee. 
I've never liked Starbucks. It's horrendous. And they give you paper straws, which just makes it even worse. So we're going to get a coffee. I'm actually going to order my Joe and the Juice now because I don't know why they take so long. And I just discovered that they've got an app. So you can order your stuff on the app, which just makes life so much easier. So this is the aftermath of like an hour of rain at 5 a.m. today. This is disgusting. I have places to be. And FYI, there is a 500 dirham fine. It's like a hundred and something pounds for driving a filthy car. So, let's go get her cleaned up. Ugh. What the hell is that? That is so gross. Oh my God. I got him in a nice high car. It's okay, I'm going for a car wash. I remember when I was in school here and it used to rain, school would actually get called off because the flooding was so bad, like we would actually just not go into school because of flooding. But Dubai basically, when it floods, they have trucks which come around the entire day and they just suck up all the water, it's fantastic. 11 a.m. I've made it to the car wash, thank God. I now have had my smoothie, my little Joe and the Juice. I've had my morning coffee, I've had a sandwich, I've done my yoga, I've showered, I have three hours till my shoot. It actually gives me ample time to do my makeup and have a very chilled, relaxing morning. Also, I woke up this morning with this horrendous pimple on my upper lip. Why do we get upper lip pimples? Like, I'm not even sweating, I don't understand. I'm on my way to the Royal Atlantis. I've been sneezing a lot lately and I recently discovered a nose hair trimmer so I'm gonna blame that. If you're considering trimming your nose hair, don't do it. Unless it's like ridiculously long and hanging out your nose, don't do it because I sneeze all the time. All the fucking time. Or I like have to sneeze but it never comes and I just hate when the sneeze gives me blue balls. I think it's the most frustrating feeling in the world. Don't give me, don't give me blue balls in my nose. Thank you. I'm on my way to the Royal Atlantis. I'm actually running a little bit late. I'm meeting Elise there. We're going to one of the most fantastic bakeries in the entire world. The bakery is so good that the queen herself used to order cake from here and have cake from here. What the fuck is going on? I showed up before Elise. Like what did I tell you? I was God, I haven't heard good morning in a long time. I don't usually um, surface before noon because, where is it? It's just down there. Have oh, you got the Valentino treat? No, I've actually not been. The last time I came here, I was at Milo's and I was like, I want to go to the cake company and it was like I love Milo. 10, 10 p.m. They were like, yeah, it's not open. I was like, but we might do Ling Ling this weekend because apparently their lounge club area is actually really nice. Each get yourself a nice uh, piece of the chocolate paste and start by cutting it in half, whatever you've got. So then we'll use one half. And what I want you to do is, much the same way as we did with the candy cane, is knead it to the point where it's nice and malleable. Okay, I'm like, okay? Yeah, lovely. So now with the second half of the chocolate sugar paste you've got, from here we're going to do the, and if we need to get a little bit more we can, but we're going to do the head, the arms, the legs and the ears. This is what the bell should look like. This is what the style looks like. It honestly looks like it would be the best one. It went through a car crash and a fire. <laughs> and this is what my bear looks like. I'm not going to lie, I'm actually going to dress. Like how do I? I'm not expect that. Like usually Elise is a lot better at this than I am. Day on the working with them around. <laughs> Short, sharp, spurt, and then be done. Yeah. Okay. Do you mind? <laughs> Are you doing? Are you doing it? <laughs> no, you just do it. I say it's amazing what you can achieve. You know they've done all of this. I'm hiding the bed. With their hands. There's been no. Cutters, no moles, and your Christmas tables. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It's been so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> no, I actually really enjoyed it. <laughs>
Yeah, I'm gonna do a Valentine's one. Yeah, that'd be fun. I'm mine. It's so pretty. Mine looks like it belongs on the store. Yours? <laughs> it looks like it's on the store. No, I am. This obsessed. shot is your brand deal. It's gonna be insane. The way you were just actually moving and looking at, like, the fuck do you want? <laughs> that was crazy. Okay, so today. Elise and we are heading, well we're out to buy more, we are heading to the, I don't know if I'm going to pronounce this correctly, Jaeger Lekut. It's not Jaeger. It's not Jaeger one. It's just Jaeger I think I've been to that too guys. Brands before and watchmakers, they used to come to Jaeger and order their movements ready. So Jaeger used to make movement, the caliber, the heart of the watch was made in, in our manufacture for Many big, beautiful. <laughs> She's gonna leave with it on her wrist. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is so stunning. This is super beautiful, super elegant. Can we see the other side? Please? Absolutely. I love that. I love that it's got I diamonds on one yeah. side. Yeah. So you can add your initials, a special text, um, a special date, and you get to choose the font. So we have the online uh, tool. Uh, depending on the complexity of the engraving, yeah. it can be done locally or sent to our oh, manufacturer. Nice. Uh, and a lot of uh, details on the dial, aventuring glass, and we here you have the sky and the, and the clouds in the, in the piece. So stunning. About Cartier Rich Vergeur, what can we do, what can we do? And then it came out that we have this beautiful caliber, oh you see, the smallest mechanical caliber ever created, it's even one centimeter uh, length, 98 components, and then in the weight of less than a gram, butterfly weight. Oh my God. We put it in a beautiful bracelet, a tennis bracelet, very flexible, movement, stone. each Wait, stone is set. This is the, the actual watch you This is the re-edition. Oh, okay. Fine. Yeah, this is for sale today. People. Okay, now we. Okay, that was so cool. It's like. Sorry, it's Gege Le Cut. Gege. Gege. Elise goes, Gege. Gege. Huh? Gege. You were like, Gege Le Cut. No, I told you, Gege. Gege. No, Gege. 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 And you were calling it Jaeger. Jaeger Le Cut, babe. Gege Le Cut. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but anyways, guys, I have now found a new watch brand I love. It's fascinating. I love when they do activations like this and introduce you to brands that you're not used to or like have been interested and want to find out more about. I am in love with the Reverso watch. I think that's a beautiful watch because it's got two different faces. You can choose between two faces. It's got like an evening it's face, like a daily face. face. It was made for polo players. But the reverse, it wasn't like two faces for the polo players. One face was completely blank and solid, and the other face was a watch just to like prevent any kind of like cracking or whatever when you're playing polo. So that was stunning. But the watch I really love, I'm really into like round watches with like a leather strap. Like I think that's gonna be my next watch. Um, but something you round. The round one, the ballon. Cartier. The Ballon Bleu. Yeah, I don't really like that anymore. It's very small. I want like a bigger round face. Ideally, no diamonds with like a black <gasps> strap. No diamonds? No diamonds. Are you okay? No, for like a daily use kind of watch. Like, yeah. So, Always that's the Rendezvous watch. And they have a really stunning one. Black, gold bezel. I'm out of breath. So we're going to head to Novikov. I've actually never been to the Novikov lunch here, so it should be... Fantastic. I was literally on Instagram yesterday posted about doing my lip blush and I was like what a oh, yeah, what happened? I was like what a stop. bloody waste of time and money. Nothing happened. My lips look the fucking same. Don't tell me the owner message. I don't even follow them on Instagram. How do they don't follow me, but like obviously someone from their company follows you. They just called me whilst I was in that appointment. I was like I'm not a confrontational oh God, gal, so babe. Awkward. Like, I never mention the company, I never mention the brand. Like, I don't, I'm not someone that like outs people like that unless they've like really harmed me. But you didn't even mention the company, there's no <laughs> branding in there. It could have been Nothing, anywhere. Yeah. I haven't even posted the video of me doing it. So, but they've, they've called me, I don't know what the hell they're gonna call me. They're probably gonna be like, hey, do you wanna get a top up? <laughs> no, thank you. I'm they'll okay. Like, we'll do it for free. <laughs> we'll do, even if it was free, like, you guys will see the results. Like it's just not it's giving. Not oh, yes, like it's a lot of pain. What? It's like it's like a toxic relationship. It's like a lot of pain for no return. Just I saw trauma. a result, but you have to do two sessions. Trauma. 
two sessions, like how far apart were your sessions? A month, I think. Two months. Honestly, it wasn't really worth it. wasn't like a huge. It wasn't worth the pain. It wasn't Wait, worth the money. Turn, it was like, like 600, 600 pounds, 700 pounds. And <laughs> ultimately, I'm still putting lipstick on and like outlining my lips if I need to. Okay, so we're having lunch at Nabokov Cafe at Dubai Mall. And we ordered the beef carpaccio, which comes with black truffle, and then the wagyu beef tacos, which look lovely. I have not been to another cop in so long. We opted for the pasta with crab, spaghetti with crab, chili, broccolini, and grilled octopus. She did ask if we wanted pasta and cheese, but if I'm ever sitting with someone that orders a seafood pasta and with cheese, ask for cheese, I'm smacking them on their heads. The date cake, and it came with like this really insane syrup. It's giving so sticky toffee pudding, and it's so one fun. of my favorite dishes. <laughs> it looks really good. Thanks. Pick one. <laughs> Just pick one randomly. Okay, this is the light that um, oh, I got one for Elise as well. We got you a light. Okay, this is the first. <laughs> no, but the this other is one. Her, um, like her TikTok bio, which I fucking love. And I love this like dog picture of her. So I was like, I need to I get this one. I was literally like 18 in this picture. <laughs> I love this. This is my this favorite. Is the OG Layla. Yeah, that's what I love about you. Like it's my favorite era of Laylee. So I had to get this. Oh my God. Okay, so I love it. Thank go you. for the black one. Save white for the lady. Yeah. <laughs> this is a picture of my. No, I. This is my favorite picture of oh you from the back God. in the day. <laughs> Get this, and it's like established 996 at the bottom. Oh, that's your birthday. No, bitch. I love this. Okay, but this, the white one, is my absolute favorite one. I'm scared. It's the one, like, all of your favorite. <laughs> Oh, no, you need to see the back. <laughs> the back is me, obviously, because it's me. The fuck? Okay, next. No, wait. Human lie detector. <laughs> Picky, cranky, anorexic. She thinks I'm skinny. It's my favorite traits of you. Narcissist, distant, difficult, detached, often disappointed. Now I fucking love this one. I'm crying. Dog. I had to edit this and make it look like the fucking definition. I'm like, how the fuck do I make that? Oh, I love how you're on the back. I'm, back. I'm like, yeah, it's me. Like, this is my bestie. Don't fucking play. And, and I had to get that. a little sticker for my for phone. My, for your phone. Put it on. No, I wait. hope like red but looks cute on that. I mean, yours don't this stick This is my favorite. Like the the car and everything right i'm gonna give this to my man and do make it. Him wear it i know actually yeah you should actually make uh, this is an xl so it's no but thing. i love i'm gonna wear this to the nails wait you should wear this for the pajamas are we doing a, yeah. a pajama bit no we're not why did we say pajama? that was for the way for the up. intro yeah. it's fine i'm gonna wear this on our next podcast no do it do it oh my god yeah so you want to wear it now like oh, the second one oh i love one? it thank you of course, sweetie. Oh my god, my no. favorite has to be the definition one. That now was, like, I feel so... bad. I didn't get you anything. No, stop. You got me worth. shoes. I like yeah, the shoes. Yeah, but like they your gifts down. were thoughtful. Yeah, Mine they're so like, funny. Here's some fucking shoes. Ran. I got this customized. This is my favorite. Like you and me. <laughs> I can't. No, these are so cute. No, I love them. Thank you of so course, much. Of course, sweetie. This Where did you get these made? Um, there's a place next to me, next to my house, and they were like, "Sorry, day, we will take two days." I'm like, two days? Hurry up, motherfucker!" 